We are now ready to put the nails back into the, uh, the board. As I've mentioned before, you it, it, it makes a job much easier to do when you have proper tools. So proper tools for this particular job is a soft-headed mallet. Uh, I've got a couple. This is a, a bigger one. Um, I've got a smaller one. doesn't matter. As long as it's a soft head, you're going to want a, a small um, hammer for tweaking the nails. You're going to want a, a, a flat-headed punch, again, for tweaking nails. And then this is... This is a, uh, a nail alignment tool. Basically all it is is a pachinko ball on a stick. Um, I believe I got this on eBay. I'll show you how you use this in just a minute. So over here I've got a pile of nails that, that, have, been, that have gone through and, and been tumbled. They're, they're real nice and shiny now. In amongst these nails are also the shorter nails for the attractions and, and things like that. Uh, nails that are uh, I believe I mentioned this before. These nails have a little twist at the end. So if you pick up a nail and it doesn't have a twist, don't use it for, for this part of the operation. It's, uh, it's going to be for um, one of your attractions or something. So I just throw it over here for, for later use. So it uh, really doesn't matter where you start. You're just going to... Uh, and and you, what you want to do is, is have a picture of the original play field uh, for reference. I've done this enough that I know where the nails go, uh, but you've got a lot of holes here and not all these holes are for nails, but I know where the nails go. So you're just gonna start where, where a nail is supposed to be and just use the soft mallet to tap down until it bottoms out. So the, the, the hole that the nail was in was drilled to a, a certain depth and when you drive the nail back in and it hits bottom the nail is back to the the right height off the board that it should be so you're just going to drive them in now I'll show you I'll show you this because this is right away we I don't I think I can get this close enough so that you can see what I'm talking about or get it at the right angle uh, it's hard to tell okay if you look at these two nails uh, there, there's, a, there's too much of a gap there. They should be a little closer together. So that's what you use your, your metal hammer for, and you're just going to tap it gently. And now if you look, you can see that the, the two nails are, are more in line with each other. Now, the way that this is all supposed to work is pachinko nails are supposed to be all set at a, a four degree angle up. So this is the top of the board. So if this was a nail, this, this should be at a four degree angle up, obviously not like that, but a, a, from, from vertical or horizontal, it should be four degrees up. Now I don't, I don't measure that, but you'll notice as you put the nails back in, if you look at them, you'll see they all do kind of end up like that, exaggerated. So let me get a few more in so I can give you a better idea of what you need to do here. As I'm putting them in, I, as I pick one up, I just check to make sure it's got a spiral. If you put a nail in and it just like one hit, it goes in, then you know it's not a spiral nail and it's the wrong one, so pull it out. If Again, you, you look at these nails, I'm not sure if I've got a good camera view for you, but if you look at these nails, uh, they're not bad, they're off a little, and I just, I tend to be a little bit anal about it. Like, for example, if this one is a little bit out of place, so this is what you use the, your, your uh, punch for, and you're just going to go in and tap that nail. So these, these nails here, the ball would come in from this direction and just go like this. So you just want to, you want that to be the gentle curve that it was designed to be. Now we're going to put the nails on the opposite side. And in this particular application, we don't have to worry about 
See, now there's a straight nail. I'm just going to throw it over there. Okay. And again, I don't know if the if the camera is showing this all that well, but if you notice this this run of nails is kind of crooked, and it'll it'll show. Um, again, I'm I'm anal about it. I like to have them as as perfectly aligned as possible. So I'm going to take the time now to use my regular hammer and the uh, the, the straight punch. And what I'm, what I'm doing, there. and that just made them a lot nicer. They're more evenly spaced, and you create that nice arc. Now, using the alignment tool, if you notice, you have no problem down in here. This is a huge gap. Don't have to worry about it. But let, me, let me do this. We'll go down to where one of the pay pockets is. Again, a straight nail. Okay, so here you've got a situation where there, there'll, there'll be a pay pocket right here. And the, the pachinko ball needs to go in between these two nails. So this is where you use the alignment tool. And right now, you notice that the, the pachinko ball can't go through there. The nails are, are too close to each other, right against the board. Out here, they could go through, but right against the board, they're not going to make it. So, again, this is where you're just going to use your straight punch. And just, just align it so that that ball will drop through. That's, that's all you need is just so it'll go through. That's what the alignment tool is for. If you, if you don't have an alignment tool, you can just use a pachinko ball. Um, I used to use a pachinko ball on the end of a magnet uh, and do the same thing um, until I found this. So that's the way you're going to do it. And you're going to just put all the nails back in. And then we'll start to, uh, we'll do a video on how to put the rails back on. Have fun.